In this video, I want to show you how you can use Android Studio to create different layouts depending on the size of the device or the orientation or other features that would require a different layout for a given screen. So let's start with a new project. Let's just call this layout and we'll choose next and then next. And for this, we could just choose an empty activity. I double clicked it and it automatically went to next. Uh, here we're going to go with the default and let's choose finish. The tool I'm referring to is part of the design editor. And to get that, we want to go to our activity main XML file. I wanted to note, um, here I'm, I've got the main activity Java class open and if you see here it says related XML file you can go ahead and click that and then you can select the one that you want to look at so in our case it has to be this guy which was already open but anyway I wanted to show you how you can get to that in another way so if you don't see the design view already go ahead and choose the design tab Right now we have this layout and currently we have a, a text view on the screen and it is using a constraint layout and it's going to center horizontally and vertically on the screen. If I come over here to my orientation button and I switch to landscape, it's going to automatically center and, and follows exactly what we want. Uh, let me go back. Let's say, for example, that you want to show a different layout of the text field or whatever, whatever object, so you have a number of buttons and things on the screen, and you didn't necessarily want to maintain a centered look within a landscape view. Or let's say you wanted to show a different layout based on whether it was uh, a different language where you had a different order of things. And so in order to create this, you can support multiple layout files by creating what we call a layout variant. If we look back at this orientation menu, it says we have create landscape variation, create layout extra large variation, or create other. First, let's go ahead and just click, uh, select create landscape variation. Now, what it's done, notice here, if you look at this file, it's now referenced and it's got a different uh, folder. If I come over and I look at my res folder and I go to layout, notice, uh, you may see it this way, notice how it says there's two. If I open that, notice there's one that says activity main and then activity main, but it's in, it says land. Now, re remember we talked about this, right now we're looking at a view for Android that groups things for us. If I go to the project view and then I look at it, what it actually shows up in the app with regards to the resolution file, it's actually created multiple folders. And here you have layout and then you have layout dash land. What this means is you have an activity underscore main XML layout file. That's your default. But if the device is ever in landscape, it's going to load this layout file instead. Again, if we go back to the Android view for the navigation, you're going to see these are grouped together. And it makes it easier because you don't have to go to different folders. But just know that these are now related. Okay, well, what does that mean? So right now I'm in my activity landscape variation. And let's say I select that and I clear the constraints and then I move this and I want it, let's just say I want it up in this upper corner. So now if I rotate and I switch back to portrait, notice I have my landscape that shows up in portrait mode and if I switch to landscape, now I have my other layout 
whenever I'm in landscape mode. This is very powerful in that you can adjust the layout based on a variety of things. In fact, let's take a look at what else you can do. So we go back to our orientation menu. Uh, obviously, you can create, um, it, we've, we've already done the landscape. There's this layout extra large, which refer, refers to the device size. But also, you can click Create Other. Here, these are what we call qualifiers. And you can determine the layout based on a number of things. The country code re refers to the uh, what country and or language that is spoken. And so, for example, if I select that, um, then you can enter a country code. And then that layout will show up on devices that are in that country code. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. Let me just undo that. I just clicked the back arrow to put it back. You could change it to the locale, which is the actual spoken language. You can set up layout, direction, um, different things. So again, what this means is if, for example, you have a device, uh, notice here, this is a keyboard layout. Let's say you have a, a layout that shows when the keyboard is exposed or hidden or whether it's a, a soft keyboard, meaning it, it's software. This basically responds to physical devices. If you're a physical device, you remember there are some Android phones that have physical uh, keyboards. It may not be as common nowadays, but that's another option. So again, there are a variety of things. So depending on what these qualifiers say, you can show a different layout for whatever you need. Most commonly, we're dealing with orientation, whether we go landscape or portrait, or we're dealing with dimension. And dimension is another one that's very common. So you can say, I want, uh, if, if I have a very large device that has high screen resolution, I can show a different layout than on a device that has a smaller screen dimension. Then, of course, you also have things like the version. You can qualify this based on the version. All right. So, again, the way this works is you're generating a separate layout file that the Android operating system automatically loads if one of those qualifiers is satisfied. In this case, what we've done is created a landscape uh, orientation that's a different layout than what we would see with portrait. You can have multiple versions, multiple variations of this activity main layout file. You'll see this a lot when you're dealing with one app that is supported across multiple device sizes and or device types. When you're dealing with Android TV or some of these other, even with Android Android wearables and car and things have a different uh, app module. But when you're dealing with devices, the Android ecosystem has thousands of different devices and they have a, a lot of different types. I would consider using a, a layout variation when, for example, the constraint layout isn't giving you enough control over the, the various uh, portrait landscape or device sizes. And then you can manage that with your different layout file. All right. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe and look for more videos.